So we're going to be talking about MR spectroscopy in neuro-ophthalmology. Of course, this is a huge topic and we can't cover it in three minutes. But just the neuro-op of spectroscopy. And what spectroscopy means is it's imaging of the spectrum of chemical shift in MR, in magnetic resonance imaging. So normally MR is a structural imaging study that tells us about the structure of brain in neuroimaging or orbit. And that depends on the tissue and the proton density and the water. But in spectroscopy, what we're looking at is the spectrum of metabolites that are <clears throat> measurable. And just like chemical spectroscopy that you probably did in high school, you can do mass spectroscopy, you can do chemical spectroscopy. And so what it generates is a bunch of peaks like, like this. And each of those peaks has a spectrum associated with it. And so the typical things we're gonna be looking at is choline, which is a membrane component, creatinine, which is kind of a measure of metabolism, the NAA, which is a measure of neuro neurons, and then you might have a lactate peak, which is for anaerobic metabolism from lactic acidosis. So in neuro-ophthalmology, the utility of spectroscopy is seeing what is in a pathologic lesion seen on the structural imaging study. So on a structural MRI, we might see a white matter lesion, or it might be a mass. And the spectroscopy, if you put the pixel of the spectroscopy on the lesion itself, you can see what the chemical structure inside that lesion is. And so for neuro-ophthalmologists, the things we're looking for are things that might have big lactate peak, which is anaerobic metabolism, like mitochondrial disease. If we're looking at NAA and it's decreased, that's the neuronal marker. So things that damage neurons will drop the NAN. And then the ratio between the choline and the creatinine, which is the membrane against metabolism, might be decreased or increased. So if you've got something that is destroying membranes and releasing a lot of choline, killing your neuron and is anaerobically active, then that might suggest that that is necrotic tissue inside of a tumor rather than radiation necrosis. So our, our most common utility of this is trying to differentiate whether you have radiation necrosis or whether you have a tumor, which a tumor would be rapidly replicating in a mass. However, on the imaging study, it might show white matter lesion and surrounding edema, and it might be hard to differentiate on a structural imaging study. So the MR spectroscopy is useful, in my opinion, for metabolic things, where we can see the lactate, where we can see the choline creatinine, and for structural abnormalities where we're trying to differentiate whether this is a destructive lesion, radiation, or is it a mass lesion with neoplasm like glioblastoma multiforme.